Yeah, here we go. Oh, ready? Okay, today we're going to plant some watermelon seeds and some other things in these little flats that I have purchased. Now, these are all going to be probably placed in the ground, and then a lot of it's going to be put in uh, the hydroponic operation too. But the first thing we want to do here is we want to plant some watermelon seeds. So for, uh, let me, uh, let me, and my, my little helper here, he's uh, my gardening expert helper. What you got in your hand there? Okay, better hurry back because the camera's running. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, now, my gardening helper, this is Tristan. <laughs> He's my grandson. He's a pretty good guy. Now, here, you hold it up so everybody can read it. Now, go up close to the camera. Really high. Okay, okay right there. Hold it very still. Okay, that's what we're going to plant. Okay. You go ahead and do it. Now, he's going to plant these because he's an expert here. You want me to give you one and give you a seed? Yeah. Now, here we go. There's one. Here, wait a minute. Okay, so there's the seeds. They look like, hold, hold just a second, Tristan. See, they look like that. And that's kind of that's what they look like. So now Tristan's going to plant six of these in these. And go ahead and see. And all you do is you push them in there. Just push them down in there. Push them down in. We well, got to push it a little further than that. Well, no, get the other one in there. There, there you go. There you go. A little better. Yeah, there we go. Now, one more. You didn't have one more? Well, here. Can you get one more out of here? Yeah. I'll go ahead and get one more out. Look, got him? Okay, okay. Here we go. One more, and that goes right there. Okay. Now, we're going to plant the rest of these. Let me show you here. You can see we've got all these set up here. And you can buy these little kits with these little expandable peat uh, block things. As a matter of fact, see, these didn't expand very well. And I need to put some more water in now in those. But then they come with, uh, you know, a lid, something like that. And then uh, let those uh, grow for your small plants. And then put them wherever they need to go. So what we're going to do is do the rest of them that way and plant broccoli and peas and peppers and all kinds of things in there and get them started and then uh, plant them where they're going to grow. Yep. Okay, now we're planting sweet banana peppers. So we're going to put two yeah, in each one. They're actually sweet bananas. Well, they're not really bananas, no. So you put two seeds on each one. Okay, if you remember, uh, Tuesday we planted some seeds, and today is Saturday. So let's see how they've, they've done. Now what I've got here, these are some boxes that I've built for another purpose. There's another one over there. You see there's a light bulb on either end, and there's a thermostat in here. And they keep the uh, temperature in here at a constant rate, well not constant necessarily. And just hold this up here right here. Fastening this so it won't fall down. Okay. And they keep the temperature above 80 degrees in here. You can see the thermos the thermometer there, it's 75. But these have sprouted, and if you remember, like I said, two uh sat Tuesday we planted these, and today is Saturday. So you see how quickly this grows. Now these over here are the uh cabbage and super broccolis and things like that. And you see how quickly they've come up. Now, not all of these have come up. You can see there's some here that didn't. And what those are, let's see if we can... Uh, cabbage, just for different kind of cabbages. And the ones on the very end here are cauliflower. So, some have come up, and some really haven't done that well. And then the, on this side, it's the same thing. I think these are beans on this end. But you can see some of those are coming up. And some of these haven't done very well either. But these are up enough that I've got to go move them and plant them where they belong. 
but uh, you can see it worked pretty well. Now over here on this one, let's see what we've got in here. I just hold this one up here for just a minute. There we go. Now these had the beans and things in it. Let's get that focused. There we go. And look at that. See that? Now remember, that we, this is Saturday and we planted these Tuesday. Look at that. These are yard long beans. Now these I've definitely got to get them out of here. Some, uh, you can see now some, what have we got here? It looks like there may be a bug in here. Because that looks like it's been chewed off. Well, anyway, um, I've got to take these and plant them. Uh, these have actually done really well. And same thing over here. These are some kind of, I think those are pumpkins over there. Or uh, some kind of cucumbers. And you see these here have not come up. These are all peppers and those kinds of things. But anyway, hit and miss. But So we're going to take these out of here. These that are obviously growing. Like those and those. And we're going to plant them in uh, a hydroponic thing that I have. So we'll do that next. I thought I'd I thought I'd just explain a little bit about what this is, you know, in case you're wondering, and what those boxes really are for that I said I built with another for another purpose. This is an old chicken coop that I have, and we used to have chickens in here, and I've gotten tired of chickens. And you can see there's the nests. It was quite successful. We we had a lot of eggs, but you know you have to tend them so much that I I just didn't want them anymore. Those two boxes over there, what we had was soldier flies in there. And what those are is they're like a grub. And you can look them up if you want. But they were breeding. And this is basically where we'd throw a lot of our uh, scraps in. And they would eat eat them and make compost. But anyway, that's what those are for. And the reason uh, the, for the heaters and things in there and the lights is those kind of critters need... Uh, light and heat to breed and they were breeding and doing quite well and then uh, When the summer comes it gets much hotter in here than 85 degrees and then they stop breeding so Anyway, that's what they're for uh, and they work just perfectly for starting seeds